guys. Mm. We watched The Last of Us episode seven. Uh, we did. Yeah. Covers of DLC. Hmm. It left of course behind. It did. And you could very much tell it kind of breaks up the, the flow of the episodes. Yeah, it does. So this was dog shit. <laughs> Okay, that's um, just one sentence. To put it lightly, yeah, that that yeah, that's my one sentence. sentence review right there. Uh, Tristan, um, I didn't need this. Yeah, I'm a fucking I'm a broken record. The game probably did it better. <laughs> um, Even in a DLC that you didn't like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I thought the DLC itself was actually better because. Uh, they set up the next episode of the DLC. So, in in terms of the storyline, so the DLC obviously was released after the game came out. I never thought obviously. that. So you beat the whole game, and it fills in a gap basically that was like a little a little time skip in the game, which is, you know, what we saw last episode of Joel getting hurt, and what happens next. And so they were like, "Oh, this makes sense to put the DLC here." Yes, it does. However, in the in the game. Again, I have always been saying this every episode at this point. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. But um, basically in the game, there's more modern time sections in the DLC. Mm. Right? Got so okay. she's paralleling basically what she's going through now with her journey through the mall. Oh, so it's like switching back and forth more? Yes, absolutely. Gotcha. So she's going back and forth between... She basically, in the game, she had to go somewhere to go get the shit to fix Joel up versus this where she just had it on her. So it's kind of like... Of course, conveniently. Found yeah, it very house. anticlimactic. <laughs> it's, it's again, I actually think that this show is just a big ad for the game at this point. It's the only thing that makes sense. Either, either HBO just didn't believe the show would be as good as it's been or like as popular. Or they really just want you to buy the game because they'll make more money off a of game sale than they will you streaming this on HBO, right? See, I, I think I, you, I, I don't know. You don't pay for I think, that. I, I speak for the vast minority of people here when I say that watching this makes me want to play the game less. Damn. Um, dude. There are parts I, that do make me agree with you. This, this, this episode, episode is I, one of them. Bro, oh my god, dude. dude. Reek said flashback episode. I didn't know we were going to get meaningless moments of fucking six-pack of ass, bro. Oh my god. I was staring at my TV in just disbelief. I was like, I can't believe that I'm watching this right now. I could be doing a hundred things better. <coughs> Damn, bro. I didn't think it was that bad. but No, I hated uh, it. The yeah. only thing I, I didn't hate, which is what people were probably thinking that I'm hating on, I didn't mind the same-sex relationship part of it. I don't care about that. And people, you know, people might think, oh, well, that's why you hated this. It's, it's not. I hated that I spent 20 minutes watching them play fucking arcade games. I saw them hop from roof to roof for another 20 minutes. I don't care, dude. Uh, I, so, okay. I am going to tread lightly. I'm not bothered by the fact that she was, like, in love with her best friend. Uh... I wasn't surprised. Like very I, reasonable. I, I was I was not yeah. surprised. I kind of as soon as as soon as she came onto the screen, I just kind of expected it. Um I don't like that that's what cost both of them. I don't I don't like that bit of storytelling. I don't think that her going back because she you know, she can't leave the person that she's in love with like that, uh and then both of them getting bit I think that's pretty silly. I don't, it, it didn't make any sense for me. The fact that they were in the mall all night, no problem with any of the infected. And then as soon as she's going to leave, but then she decides to turn around. Now there's one of them there. Yeah, bro. You never know. But that in, in it, and yeah, I don't, mm, mm, I don't like that. She actually had no, I, that's not the part I had a problem with. If I'm going to be honest. What okay? Well, I mean, everything else was pretty much the problem. I get what your issues were too. I didn't care. Well, I mean the the Mortal Kombat part I got because that was in reference to earlier in the show. Uh, so I I took a note of that. I was like, oh hey, when know. they mentioned Mortal Kombat earlier, um, I don't think it was Kansas. But it was like earlier when they were Joel and Ellie were leaving. Uh, and they it might have been right before they went to Bill's place. But they they went into that 
uh, like convenience store, and there was an old Mortal Kombat machine there. And Ellie was looking wow. at it like, uh, like she had some sort of attachment to Mortal Kombat, and so that's what that's what the attachment to Mortal Kombat was there. I'm pretty good that at picking sense. up details. I didn't pick that one up. Yeah, I'm, nah, good good stuff on that. Yeah, but so I mean, that part they, I liked. They they did Mortal Kombat because it's the same. They got the HBO license, which is Warner Brothers, right, which owns right. Mortal Kombat. So to yeah. be fair, in the in the DLC, they did do a, a fighting game. But they didn't have licenses to other shit, so they just did like some <laughs> random bootleg ass shit. It's like it's not Mortal Kombat, <laughs> but it obviously was. And then this, like, they actually got the licensing. Right. I actually like the way they did it in the game because in the game the machine doesn't work, right? Yeah, that like, would make sense. She told she tells her to close her eyes and like start doing stuff, and then she's like, "It's very cool," and I think it only works in the video game the way they did it, basically, like. She's in her ear, like, telling her, and then you have to, like, press buttons as if you're playing Mortal Kombat yourself. Hmm. And so, you're like, it's like, you know, like, you know, if you're ever playing Mortal Kombat, it's like, down back square, down back circle. And then, like, at the end, you have to hit a fatality. And she's like, hurry, quick. And she gets, like, she gets you going because she starts you slow, and then you start going and going. And then you, like, even when you're doing it yourself, you start to forget that you're not actually playing something because you're, like, locked in trying to hit these quick time events. And it's like, oh, shit, like, mm-hmm. that's a very dope way of storytelling. Or, like, know, very interactive sense. way to do it. See, but, if, I don't know. I'm sorry. Go for it, Eli. I was just going to say, I feel like I I played Mortal Kombat like most people do, and that's just button mash. I don't actually. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't yes. actually matter what the buttons are. <laughs> I button mash for sure in Mortal Kombat. That's one of the ones that, like, I can get you the special moves, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you the I I can get you the sub zero cold shoulder slide move and that's and I can get you the the freeze ball and after that I I'm gonna s- I'm gonna just hit you a couple times whatever I got I got a spinning elbow and a straight fist to the face after that I'm S O L buddy <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the toasty uppercut and that's it it's a <laughs> you don't know the to- yeah I wouldn't expect you to it's a Mortal Kombat thing but uh, yeah, yeah the, to- the toasty uppercut toasty that's uh, fire. Actually, I do like this section in the game, and I think it's okay here. Uh, my real issue comes from the fact that what does this do for Ellie with what we have so far? Yes, nothing. that that's my complaint. Absolutely nothing. Uh, in the game, you have a little bit more time with her, and she's obviously hiding something, versus this where she's only mentioned the tragedy twice at this point, which was episode two because i mentioned it to you guys back then Mm -hmm. i was trying to be not so much of like a spoiler about it but i was like oh when her and joel and tess are walking she mentions you know something and then someone or marlene talks her about riley or something like that you know oh you think riley would think about this and things like that they changed some of ellie's origin story as well because in the game she actually knows marlene and her parents knew marlene the Firefly leader. Okay. And so that's why gotcha. she is like destined to do good is because like Marlene has like an eye on her in the school, which I don't know why they changed that because it actually contradicts something that Marlene says later to her or earlier to her, which was like that. Why do you think I left you in that military school, which they talked about earlier in the show, which it makes me go like, why would you keep that line? If you're going to change how connection to Marlene that doesn't make any sense. And it makes me, they very much like downplayed Marley in this entire show at this point. Like we've heard about her once, no, no one else talks about her and she's supposed yeah. to be like the big bad leader of the terrorists. So, uh, I thought, I thought some of the dialogue was a little, a little cringe at times. It was so corny, bro. Yeah. That's my thing. This whole episode was just meaningless and corny up until the bite. And it's like, okay, so you did all this just for a bite origin and uh-huh. I don't care. Thank you. I, the, uh, <laughs> the the Vic, Victoria's Secret lingerie comment and scene. I was like, keep that, <laughs> keep that, stash it, at, put it away. Yeah, at that point, they're they're in in universe. They're fourteen, bro. I'm. I don't need to hear that shit. Keep it real with you. For, yeah, that's for. I real. really don't need to hear that shit from fourteen year olds. Oh, you look good in that. Don't say that, especially with Bella Ramsey. Looks like she's fucking thirteen. Don't don't be saying that shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's really just like, it felt like nothing. And that's, the DLC very much was like a nothing burger. 
because it's supposed to be an add-on to the content. You know, it's something that wasn't in the original vision. Whereas this, you're cutting shit out again. You're not cutting shit out again, but you already cut so much back and you keep this in. It's so inconsequential. And I've seen people complain, like, why are people getting mad about filler episodes? Don't you understand that those are necessary to develop characters? I agree, actually. I do think you should have character building episodes. My issue is we have nine episodes. And right, two of them exactly. have been now filler. just filler. And, and three of uh, three out of the four characters in the filler episodes are dead, and it doesn't matter. And that's what I keep fucking saying, is that this should have been a more. And you can't go back and do the first game again. You cannot. Unless they're going to do the flashback thing, which that's stupid. You should have did it right the first time, right? Uh, and that's why I keep saying I think it's an ad for the game, because the game is more expounded upon than the fucking show is. Well, yeah. How does that work? You know what I mean? You should be expounding upon these ideas and concepts, not closing them off more. If I wanted something closed off, I'd go fucking watch a Last of Us movie. You know? Oh, that would be, oh, jeez. And it would be dog shit, because you don't have time to develop everything. So, I have a question for you. Uh, in this episode, based on the DLC, or even based off the game as a whole, how much did they change characters or, like, storyline stuff? Just stuff that happened, necessarily, I guess. It was pretty fucking close, except for none of the present time shit happened. Okay. Uh, if you're talking about attitude-wise characters, I've been saying Ellie is not like how she is in the game at all at this point. Well, that's fair. Uh, she's much less charismatic. She's much more charming in the game. I understand why people would think she's annoying. I think she teeters. Well, I don't think she teeters. I think she's very likable by this point. Whereas I, agree. I still think this Ellie is fucking annoying. Because I told you that last episode oh. when she was being a little too much of a brat. Yeah. I actually okay. thought she was subdued in this episode because she was hanging out with her homie. Right. But well, I just. I, I think that. With how much we got left, I don't know if they're going to be able to satisfy me with her character arc at this point. That's fair. And another, a little bit of a problem that I had with this episode was that none of this has really been hinted at that much by Ellie or the show at all. And then we got all this and the way Ellie acted and like how she felt about her best friend. Even though none of that has, like, they just threw that in after saying one time, basically. Or two times, as you said, but those might have been different tragedies. Uh, that something has happened. Like other than that, they haven't said anything, and so then they threw this whole episode at us, and it just didn't fit, really, in my opinion. Yeah, um, it's just that's well, that's the thing that like the flavor text and the some of the extra moments that would be extended, like if you had twelve episodes, that would happen there. Like, her and Joel very much have beef with their past. So they, like, Ellie tries to pry. Like, she pried a couple episodes ago. Like, it was one episode she did it, though. It was the, like, Kathleen saga, which was, you know, fantastic. But she's <laughs> like, you know, what about your past? He's like, don't ask me about my past, you know? Like, that shit. Like, that shit's usually expounded on because, like, it'd be like, okay, here's hour five. and like Or here's hour three or four. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what about your past? Don't ask me about that shit uh episode seven or hour seven she asks him again he kind of gives her a little bit you know oh yeah that's my brother da 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 yeah then absolutely. he opens it back up some more you mm-hmm. know what i mean what i think they even correct me if i'm wrong did they talk about what joel wanted to be prior to this last episode uh no i don't think so i think Mm-mm. they might have dropped one sentence and this was a much bigger thing because, like, I think they asked, oh, yeah, they did, they did. It wasn't very a lot, though. That's why I forgot already. But basically, she's like, what do you want to do after the, everything's done? He's like, oh, no, like a sheep farmer or something. And then later, she's oh, like, yeah, what yeah. do you want to be? He was like, oh, I wanted to be a singer or something. He mentioned that, oh, I believe, so yeah, last yeah, that's episode. Right. Yeah, that's but right. But that's, like, a much more bigger thing that happens in the thing. That's a longer, more drawn-out conversation. And it's like, what? You wanted to sing? And I think even ah, she makes a comment to it when they leave the college, but I don't think they cut. I think they cut that because of time constraints where she's like, where he's like, is like bleeding from the getting stabbed or whatever. And she's like, Joel, Joel, you better fucking not like you like, you know, you, after all the shit I've done, you could better sing for me. But that's because in the game, she like fights her way out of the, the college by herself with Joel. Like oh, she, shit. 
in the game, she drags Joel's ass out of there, like, by herself. Oh. Because he's dripping everywhere, and he's, like, dragging him to the horse and finally gets him there. And she's like, Joel, you're, you better sing now, da-da-da-da. And then he collapses after that, which is even more depressing. So it's it's just the time constraints are taking away impact from moments. And I'm very much so a I need time to develop connections within shows. I think I mentioned that in Chainsaw Man. It's like if you don't have a lot of time, I'm not going to feel a connection to these characters. And if you really start to take shit out, I think out of seven episodes, I would say four hours, maybe three, three and a half have been dedicated to the Joel and Ellie relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just I'm kind of just at this point questioning what their motives behind this are and i think it's but i keep saying they're trying to set shit up for the second game so damn it's just so uh, depressing man especially with what i've been reading from them because now there's now they came out and say oh part two has to be multiple scenes if we want to do it correctly and i'm like no part one should have been multiple yeah. seasons yeah. to do it correctly like that's i don't what? understand and it's just I told you that writer Neil Druckmann's the writer for this game. He jerks his own dick very hard in general, and now he's got a, a fucking buddy who's the showrunner for this. I forget his name, but he's the bald white dude who looks like Tom Segura. They're they're kind of they're kind of jacking each other into each other's mouth and they're like, yeah, man, that shit's fire. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. Let's change this too. Fuck yeah, these video game nerds are stupid as fuck. Like <laughs> I just feel like. <laughs> I feel like they kind of missed what was so great about the first game. Yeah. And I've even heard some people be like, yeah, I went and played the game because of the show. And I'm like, oh, that's what's up, man. You should just keep playing the games, I guess. Yeah, don't bother watching, I guess. Yeah, Yeah, don't even need to watch the show anymore. But again, I think it's great for people who haven't and who won't play it because they don't play video games. So that's cool, man. But I just, I love how Ellie just fixes him in three seconds. She's like, oh, I'm going to leave. Oh, here's the stuff. Here you go, Joel. And you're fixed. <laughs> yeah, for real. It was, it was, it was like, whoa. I'm very scared for the next episode at this point. I think they'll be able to capture the emotional of it, but. Well, Joel's going to be magically ep- healthy. This next episode is supposed to be a fighting heavy episode. Ah. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. And it's supposed to give you a sense of anxiety a lot, this episode. We have mm-hmm. had two zombie fights. And maybe yeah. one bandit fight. Yeah. This entire season. Yeah. Yeah. It's about right. So kind of. I don't think they're going to fight next episode. And that very much is important to what happens. And if they don't do it, then I'm just going to be like, whatever. Espe- Never mind. I don't want to get into that. But they, We've only they're, got they're, two more episodes. They need to because these next two should be action packed. They have and to. And that be. sucks because then you're missing out on characterization with Joel and Ellie, aren't you? you well, know? you're. that's why they had seven episodes to do that. Yeah, yeah, and they didn't do it. They didn't nope. do it. So, Bozos. Uh, fuck them. The cool thing yeah. is, I watched the preview for next episode, because I, I already know it's coming, so I can watch those. I don't recommend for you guys that you don't know what's coming up. But uh, the actor who plays Joel in the game is getting a cameo in the next episode. Mm. That's cool. Yes, I thought he was the main person that was coming in, but he's actually just the main person's goon. But I was like, oh, oh shit, nice. that's Troy Baker. Troy Baker's very, very fucking popular nowadays. He actually got his breakthrough because of the Joel role. Oh, cool. Good for him. Yeah, but that's cool. I, I wish that they could have... I hope they did, but I wish they could have got Tess's actor a cameo in the game. Because they got Tommy's actor and Joel's actor a cameo in the show. Mm-hmm. I know Tess's act- actress in the game just passed away recently. Like episode, Oh, gotcha. I think... Uh, fucking very coincidentally, the episode that Tess died, she had died that week. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, that's very fucking freaky, right? But I wish I could get her a cameo, and I hope they get Ashley Johnson a cameo who plays Ellie in the games as well. They deserve, they deserve some residuals from this. <laughs> I think Troy Baker said he tried out for the role of Joel and didn't get it. I'm like, motherfucker, obviously not. Like, <laughs> they have your performances on tape from the game, and they've been, and they mocap the games. So they don't just, like, record lines. So he's right. been doing the full action. They know how he acts. Obviously, they didn't want you, motherfucker. Plus, Pedro Pascal is much more marketable. So that's. Yeah, absolutely. Look at all those Pedro's daddy memes that are going around. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. I haven't seen any of those for some reason. What? You must be Where on a different corner of the internet than I am. That, yeah, that me too, I dude. know that I am. 
Don't you worry. Yeah, that's pretty can't. true. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I honestly, like, I, I kept saying, like, I don't really feel emotion in any of these episodes. I did feel emotion in this one. It was anger and frustration. And <laughs> I'm hoping I don't carry that over into the last two. You think we're snobs at this point? We're like, okay, just isn't good know. enough? I I mean, as you've said, the worst you can be is okay, right? The worst you can be is mediocre. Yeah. I I don't know. I feel like for the amount of stuff that we watch and, you know, we watch everything or we watch something every week, right? And I don't think it's me being a snob because we've been cursed with mediocrity all year. I think I just want something good. And when I see something that's good and it turns to shit, I get even more disappointed. And like in my head, I'm like, dude, this show sucks. You know, I'm, I'm super negative about it. But really, there's only a few episodes I actually didn't like. Um, so... When I when I see something that I did enjoy and maybe I don't enjoy it later for whatever reason it might be, I'm more critical of it. And I said that last week too, but yeah, this episode just sucked and I hated it. Fair. Damn, we're gonna get attacked by the community. No, I already said that's not the reason. So <laughs> I know, but they're gonna come for us though. That's fine. I mean, the two episodes I didn't like happened to be gay love story, so. <laughs> It's just, That's a little wild. It's co- it's coincidental. I swear to God, there was it's something else. I think we watched. Say. You know, I you know, I'm not the dude, the old. I got a gay friend or whatever, but I feel like we watched something that was a specifically a gay love story that I actually liked a lot recently. Uh, I, I can't remember. remember. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll cover. I mean, it you're later. a big uh, V X Caitlin guy from Arcane, but I am. I really am. But that was like a year ago. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think it goes back to the Cobra Kai debate where we watched Cobra Kai, me and Eli, at least very early into the podcasting scenario. And we were like, oh, you dude, this show's did. super fucking good, bro. Da, 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 da. And then now we review it and we're like, man, <laughs> yeah, man, this show suck. And even like, I don't know. If, I guess I don't know if it's our palettes have expanded or just the show got worse. I can't tell. I, well, I don't know, dude. Like. I'd like to say, yeah, no, content's just stale because we've been watching so much. But really, like, I've been watching other things. I'm like, oh, no, that was actually good. It's just, you know, we didn't watch that on pod. Yeah. Slightly less critical when I'm not doing this. Yeah, but I like, the shit I like to watch outside of this is, like, Goo Goo Gaga, Baby Butt, God, you know, butt cheek, oh. stupid heads to stuff. No, I feel that one big time, Mountain. honestly. Just kidding. Like, I watched three horror movies, and they were all fucking dumb, and I loved it. So. <laughs> 